Hi, I'm Phil Weaver and I'll be telling you about the making of the music video Aurora. Composed by Zach Guliboff Davis for Disc Rear Piano, it's performed by the composer and pianist Melody Ng on the Yamaha DCFX Concert Grand at UAH. Normally, one piano four hands is done with both pianists playing at once at the keyboard, but for Aurora they perform separately because of COVID restrictions. I use a technique I developed in previous videos with the DCFX I call Ghost Hands. The piano can record what is played like a player piano, so have the pianist play the piece, leave the camera in the same position in settings, and then shoot the piano by itself. The two clips are blended by varying opacity and the pianist's hands become translucent, as if a ghost were playing the piano. The clips are synchronized and the keys move at precisely the same time the fingers move. Visually, there's a lot of fun you can have with this. I used two cameras for the shoot, a Lumix GH5, my main camera, and a Lumix G85 as a second. Both had Leica lenses. Zach performed first, then I shot the piano alone, and then Melody. Afterwards, I shot inside the piano, playing the initial track all the way through. This gave me footage of the inner workings of the piano that could be matched with the performers playing. Eventually, I had eight video clips of synchronized to the soundtrack. I would vary the translucence of the performers depending on what they were playing at the time, and shots of inside the piano layered on top of the performance footage. This is where the synchronization came in handy. It just doesn't work to have the parts of the piano moving at random. It needs to be exact. Eventually, I added nature scenes to go with the music. I went with a chiaroscuro look for the performers. It's dramatic and makes blending the other footage easier. I placed a small LED light inside the piano as well. The nature footage I shot in slow motion 4K for the most part. I lived five minutes from the land trust of North Alabama's Montesano Preserve, and there was a lot of color this fall. I would just grab the GH5 and go for a walk and see what I could get. Leaves in the wind or rain in slow motion fit the feel of the piece in a lot of places. The day after shooting Aurora, I wanted some footage of some rock formations, so I made a quick trip to the preserve. Luckily, it was a sunny afternoon and I got the cliffs and the sun star as well. The waterfall is fitted from last March at High Falls Park after a lot of rain. Many classical works are in concise eight major phrases, so it's very easy to figure out where to put the visual changes. Aurora isn't like that at all. It evolves and changes mood gradually, so I really had to listen to the piece and study the sound wave as well. If that didn't work, I would just watch her when Zach dropped the bass. I used long visual phrases to match the feel of the piece. Changing scenes every couple of measures would have been disruptive. I had about 48 hours to shoot and edit the project since it was used in an online recital for the UH Music Department that week. In closing, I really enjoyed working with Zach, Melody, and Matt Westmeyer, our recording engineer for the project. The link to the piece is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.